Welcome, the Indianapolis Colts. Colts, is episode Colts. Number three. <laughs> <laughs> they were seven and nine last year. Um, they have four starters potentially hitting the market. Yeah. Um, Ebron's gone. Ebron's gone. Yeah, Ebron's gonna be gone. They, they do have Jack. They Doyle. have Jack Doyle behind him, so. I guess they're okay with that. Yeah. Devin Funches, wide receiver, <laughs> out of Vinatieri kicker. I think he's. I think he's gone. gone. I think he's done. I think his career is kind of on the down. I mean, downward he, trajectory. He might come he's, back, but it wouldn't surprise me if they've got somebody else uh, that's sitting riding right behind it. You know. Maybe he comes back on a one-year deal. I don't even think. I don't think the Colts want to re-sign him. I think they want to go younger for sure. He's forty-seven years old. Mm-hmm. Definitely going to be in the Hall of Fame. He's, oh, yeah. He's a Hall of Fame kicker, no doubt. And the last one is defensive end Jabal Shepard. Um, or, Sheard. not Shepard, Sheard. Yeah. Shepard. Eyes kind Which of, he's... He's okay. He's, he's, right. he's and, a former um, brownie. <laughs> they were 7-9 and nine last year. And like we said, they do have a couple guys potentially hitting the market. I think they could get Funches re-signed. They have sixty six point seven million in cap space, which is pretty good. Which is pretty good. Um, their team needs are quarterback, wide receiver, and defensive line. And so the defensive end. And the quarterback so. situation. I mean, if you're sold on Brissett, but they have there has been rumors. They have had discussions with Philip Rivers. Okay. I keep hearing his name come up with the Colts. Mm-hmm. I wondered too with them signing. Uh, who was the tackle they signed? Because. Cassano? Buck oh no. Oh, the tackle. Costanzo. I wondered oh, yeah, too if, yeah. I wondered too if them resigning it might have had something to do with maybe, you know, somebody won maybe River said he wanted a left tackle. Yeah. I don't know, but I mean I could definitely see this as a destination for Rivers. They have the cap space. If Rivers would be willing to sign I don't know if Rivers is gonna get, you know, a Dak Prescott type thirty three plus million dollars. If he could sign for somewhere realistically twenty five million, mm-hmm. and and work with the Colts to save ten million, I think on he, I think he's got a couple of years left in right. him. Right, and but I don't think he's that elite thirty five million no, dollar quarterback. No, it's kind of what I'm getting at. Yeah. You can sign him for twenty five million. I could see him going there, and I know we said the Titans I, were a potential division. If he mm-hmm. were to go there. I'm telling you, the Colts would win that division. <clears throat> they have the talent. They have the line. If and they picked up Buckner, who we talked about before. before, before right, Buckner. and they just got Buckner. So, so the, the really, Colts are putting themselves so really in a the good defensive position. line. Is, this this is a pretty good off season. I think the perfect off season for them. So they need a quarterback, receiver, and defensive lineman. I would get Rivers. You got Buckner. Obviously, they don't have a first round pick. I would take a receiver. The receiver class is real heavy. Right, so you can get what, your receiver. What if they trade for Diggs? Or yeah, or they could, no, they just traded their first. They traded no. their thir- their number thirteen for. You want a second what? round pick? Yeah, now, yeah. No, I don't want a second round no. pick. Never mind. But yeah, <laughs> that, that would have been. Yeah. But they already used that. Well, here's, here's another on a defensive lineman. If they end up going with Rivers, you could always trade Brissett. Right. For a pick. Maybe the Dolphins, maybe a later, you know, like one of their first round. You picks. like talking about the Dolphins, don't you? <laughs> Dolphins, baby. <laughs> they got all that money. I mean, that's the one. And I'm picks. just saying, you know, yeah. for them getting a pick because they can always get a pick, get a receiver. Right. No, I agree with you there. Um, They're in a pretty good situation. I think Andrew Luck left at like the wrong time. <laughs> I, I, I agree. I think, but they they did. I mean. They screwed up his situation for years. I mean, his line. his offensive so, line was terrible, and that's why he left. He he was he done beat getting beat up. But yeah. but then, then he turns around and then he has a line. He has some receivers. The year he he, finally he, had, he yeah. has all those and stuff, and then he leaves. The thing with that is, I think that'll end up happening to somebody else that's in this division with Watson. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna leave because he gets yeah. beat up. Or he's just going to not even re-sign with the Texans. But, I mean, to be honest with you, Rivers, but, I have not heard Rivers' name mentioned with anybody else. Right. It's, I always I keep hearing Colts, and, Colts, Colts. And kind of like I said, the Colts are, they got the team, they got the line. And they're kind they, of in that, I want to win now. Right, they're in the win now mode. Yeah. Um, Rivers would fit this team. I really yeah. do believe that. But do you stay with Brissett or do you go all in on Rivers? But then you know, if you go in on Rivers, 
You might have to trade Brissett because then is that going to cause a little well, bit of? They signed him to a deal where it seems luck. I right. You, you didn't want to get rid of that contract. Well, they obviously have some sort of plan because they just got rid of their thirteenth pick, so mm-hmm. they're not drafting a quarterback. Right. And Brissett, I don't think is the answer. So you're going to have to I know do something. Everybody's saying Rivers, Rivers. Now, do you think there might be an option with Teddy? Okay, or I mean, I mean Ballin, Jameis Winston. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know about Winston. T- Teddy Bridgewater seems like more of a guy that could go into the Colts and mm-hmm. and run. He's, the, he's a lower ego kind right. of guy. Lower yeah. ego. He's low risk. He, when he when he did win the whatever he went five and zero or six and zero with the Saints when he had that little run there, he was just making accurate throws. He wasn't going crazy throwing thirty interceptions. <laughs> Like Winston, so, so I would Still go. With, up, man. Hey, I would go with a Teddy Bridgewater well, over a Winston. Now Winston got his eyes repaired. <laughs> that now, is now true. Now he's seeing forty forty. That is true. Oh yeah, for next year, you never know. Oh, that could be setting some new records. But anyways, um, that's. I think they're in a good situation. It. I could see them. In second place. Make, that, that's make, that's possibly. where I have them as well right now. If Rivers signs, though, then I would put them as the division leaders with the Titans. I, I would say that then if if something happened injury-wise or, say, Henry doesn't show up the Titans, I could see them overtaking the Texans and the Right, yeah. right. I that's, that's all we got. That's it for the Colts. Colts. Tune episode in. Episode four. Coming episode up next. four. Episode four.